Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Eric Bischoff, NWO Executive. So uh, he is the weekend superstar for Feud, and uh, he is a Ruthless Aggression Striker. Let's take a look. He's a defensive striker. Uh, he has the New World Order link, matching Black Gem, uh, charge moves of that color by one more move point, and Ruthless Aggression. Matching any color, gems, charge moves with that color by one more point. He does have an extra gear. Uh, immobile gems do 175% more damage. He is a coach. At 9k, blast gems are going to do 2,200 more damage. This should work pretty well on anyone making a bunch of blast gems. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that compares to, say, a Sami Zayn. Uh, but it gives you more options, more, more potential for coaches. So... Um, there is that. Uh, let's take a look at his moves. I do have his gear um, for this preview. So immobile gems are going to do 175% more damage. Um, I have three move sets, two that absolutely need the gear, and one that does not. Um, so one move set won't need the gear. The other two absolutely do. We're going to start with this five star to start. Uh, the gear you definitely need for this moveset, uh, triple black, a spinning back roundhouse, finisher, deal 165k damage, choose one row to destroy and pin the opponent, uh, repeated stomps, 7 MP black, deal 90k damage and choose a 6x1 area to make into X breaks, and a spinning back pick kick, deal 68k damage and choose a 7x3 area to make into a mobile gems, that is um, 4 MP. Entourage, there's going to be uh, some rare stuff here, guys. Apologies. Um, uh, so we're going to have uh, Rock, 35%, Rocky Maivia, 35% more damage to Immobiles. Bray to start with 4 Black MP. Uh, Santa Hogan for 2200 gem damage to all, since we're blowing up the board. And then um, Hulkster for 50% more damage to Immobile gems for those 21 more gems. Um, you could go with any dual uh, coach like Lacey, you could go with a black move damage coach like uh, Hall of Fame Ted, or you could go with Gooker for move damage uh, as well. Strap we're going to be using, I do not have a good Fury um, black percentage metal. Um, and the main reason you would want that is because you're blowing up the board, so I do feel like double Fury is by far beneficial. Uh, I'm going to end up losing out on about... Uh, 250 to about 200k damage on the finisher and about um, another 300k damage total by not having a good metal there uh, so keep that in mind um, we're stacking purple gem damage for a build you're going to see later so lots of purple gem damage and we have the all heart plate equipped for all of this um, it buffs uh, purple gem damage by 100 percent for two turns after a sub and you'll see why when we get to that move set. So that's the strap. And let's take a look here at how Eric does. Uh, for this build set, um, cheap shot, uh, since you're blowing up the board, help keep him down, or potentially bad attitude to help recycle and get started because this no guarantee you're gonna recycle this move set. And if you don't have a black match turn one, you don't get going. So bad attitude would also help not having, or if you needed a blue match. Uh, we don't have a blue match either, so in this case, it wouldn't have done anything for us. Let's see if we get some Cascade love. We do not. And we can, however, pick up the Black Gem here, which is helpful. You want to hit all three moves the same turn. Um, also, of note... Um, this, keep in mind, this is with the, with the gear, some rare trainers. Eddie would help. Uh, he adds, I think, another 50% on the immobile gems. Um, LWO Eddie. Uh, another rare trainer. Um, I think the damage you're going to do here, uh, turn two is as soon as you're going to start. And you're going to see how much damage we do on the finisher. You're looking at about, normally, like if you had all the coaches... Probably 1.5 to 1.7 uh, damage. But it's not turn 1, and you're going to struggle sometimes to keep people down and no guarantee on a recycle. So I really don't particularly care for this moveset. Um, even with the gear, I would use something else. 
you see we did get a 1.6 million hit uh, so you know you could be capable on a really good cascade with everything being dialed in I think probably close to two mil on the finisher would be realistic if you had all of the bells and whistles and the proper metals and stuff um, but you need the gear as well and it doesn't recycle so there is that let's take a look at the move set if if you get him most of us are probably looking at running this this is assuming you don't have the gear um, and again you keep in mind I don't have the right metal I do think double fury for this move set as well we are going to switch in the purple move the shoot kicks so 8 MP deal 89k damage and choose six gems to make into black gems and then we're going double purple MP trainers so we can start turn one. This will be turn one in feud. Oh, I do have two perks, plus two MP and plus one on a match. Uh, but you, if you want to go turn one in feud, um, and this would have the, the finisher bonus available to it. He does have a big finisher, as you can see. So that's a big advantage. And I don't know if I said the, the description of the moves last time. So let me re-go over that quick. I don't think I did. I think I just jumped right in. Uh, the finisher is 10 MP, deal 165k damage, and choose one row to destroy. Repeated stomps is deal 90k damage and choose a 6x1 to make into cross breaks, 10 and 7 MP respectively. And the spinning back kick we use was 68k uh, damage and choose a 7x3 to make into a mobile gems for only 4 MP. So there's that. So hefty black move damage, so the metal will definitely make a big difference. This will be us normal people moves. Uh, also, alternatively... A good line bonus of plus two, and you could trade this out for, like, Asuka for a lot bigger finisher. But do keep in mind, we are blowing up the board, so you don't really want to give up that double fury uh, for blowing up the board. And let's check the entourage out for this one. Uh, we're going to switch up a little bit and put Lacey in for dual gem damage. Purple and green. You could potentially use someone like an almost for the six uh, X breaks we're going to make. Um, all around gem damage is good. I got the right. There we go. We're good. Okay. So this is what most of us will be running if we get him. Unless uh, we manage to get the gear too, which I'm not. Uh, at this point, I'm still not sure how the gear will be available. This will be turn one in feud. Two, three matches, and you're good to go. Um, recycling it can be a concern, so eternal positivity, uh, I think, is the way to go. Oops. And then you want to put your black gems out as well on lower color gems. I should have put them on the uh, loot boxes. Get a couple extra gems. And this you want in the middle of the board. And that's good. Now we're going to hit the finisher. I think you could probably do upwards of... Uh, with the right metals and stuff on this finisher. Probably 1.2 mil-ish. Seems reasonable with right trainers and stuff. You can see we hit for 935,000 um, without a good metal and using uh, trainers everyone should have. So that's the moveset most of us can use, or will be able to use, assuming you don't get the gear. Now, let's take a look at what I consider to probably be the overall best moveset. Um, and you will definitely want the gear for this, and this is why we have the all heart played on and stack the purple gem damage. Uh, so we're gonna bring in all three moves we haven't seen yet. Roundhouse kick. Bottom rope choke. And the multiple back kicks. So, roundhouse kick. 9 MP yellow move. Uh, deal 106k damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for two turns. 
Bottom rope choke, uh, 8 MP purple. Sub, choose 6 gems to make into yellow sub gems and do 21k for 4 turns. Remaining turn into immobiles and multiple back kicks. 5 MP yellow juggernaut gem, deal 59k damage and choose a 1x6 area to make into 2 turn juggernaut gems. That will modify a 1x6 random area into mobile gems on every countdown turn and make 6 immobile gems into purple gems at the end of the countdown. Basically, you get immobile gems on the board, and then you flood the board with purple gems. Uh, this is to take advantage of the gear. And if you're wondering why he doesn't have a move that takes advantage of immobile gems, it's because it relies on board destruction um, along with the gear to up the damage. So, of course, the it's we're flooding purples, which is why the all heart plate is on there. After the sub, we're going to get a bunch of um, purple gems out. So it makes sense. Uh, Lacey, because she's 20% gem damage, we're going to go with her. And then uh, back to Hogan, again, rare trainer. Uh, if you're getting with the gear, you probably have a lot more of the rare trainer. So Hogan's going to go on here for 50% of mobile gem, since most of the board's a mobile. That's going to give us a nice boost. Also, you could run this with Kofi and Beth and start with the stun in the jug uh, turn one. I feel like the sub is the better play, it drains your opponent and then you get the stun after the drain so unless they get a wild card or have a one mp move um you're not going to take damage and two mp trainers again to start turn one in feud so because of the yellow choose sub we can load our yellow moves uh two three matches would be more than enough i'm just going to get some extra gem damage by making some row breaks since he is a striker. An extra 250k damage there. And we've drained old Ivar. And our stun is loaded and our juggernaut gem. And after hitting that all pl heart plate, we're at 18k on the each purple gem. Stun here. Get the Juggernaut Gems out. If you can, try to leave a match at the top of the board. Um, or the bottom. Less likely to have your Immobiles land there, because we don't want to destroy very many Immobile Gems with this. Uh, I played this a few times, so... Um, we're going to try and leave this red match intact. So I'm going to take this green here. So we have a match towards the top. And now we're going to throw the Juggernaut Gems, going to throw the Immobiles. And you can see we're going to only destroy two with this swipe, and he's still stunned. And that is going to fire him again, and the whole board is going to turn purple. Little Cascade. And we're going to do 1.5 million damage, and the sub is reloaded to do it all over again. Uh, so, of course, we'll do the choose, reload the stun, and the juggernaut gem. <clears throat> very control, uh, very safe, very low chance of losing. Stay away from 1 MP guys, and it should do quite well in feud. So if you get the gear, that's the build set I would recommend. If you don't, the one before this. Uh, he's pretty straightforward. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. I uh, hope you found this uh, preview helpful. It's another uh, solid Ruthless Aggression card. That uh, era is really starting to fill out. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. And good luck out there, guys.